Hey, it's Julie from Ashbury Construction. I have the camera pointing at the wall right now. It's uh, it's probably in better shape than I am currently. This is the I'm not going to call it the after because there's still a long way to go. But after we took the after I took the I don't even know if I'd call it sheetrock. It sort of felt like paneling in some portions. With uh, you can see there's some remnants of some really attractive striped metallic wallpaper with border at the top. And behind that is a type of cheesecloth or gauze. It felt very, very similar to what they would wrap a mummy in. It was gross. All of it's gross. Um, I don't know how to tell you about this project. Just be ready. Dust will get in your mouth, in your eyes, in your hair, down your shirt, in your boots, in your gloves. Um, the wall in behind, you know, you can get traces of an idea of how rough it's going to be. There are a lot of nails in it, but I think that's going to give it some character. The corner pieces are tough because they're short. I need my crowbar and I don't have it with me to get at those. And then at the top, I'm not too worried about where it's pulling away um, kind of unevenly because I have to retexture the ceilings anyhow. But I wanted to give you a quick look just so you could see for yourself this project. I don't really know how real life it would be to run into this. I've never seen a home built like this. Um, pretty unconventional from what I've seen, but this was the 30s and so this wall is going to be a really nice accent piece once it's finished with the two windows on either side, but um, the remnants, <laughs> it's my second job, have yet to be picked up. So I hope to show you a really gorgeous after in the near future.